reading your textbook as I said in my last session. And Veena again here with your English ma'am who is taking the second session of grade 3rd. My Ramu and, sorry, my friend Ramu. Hope you have all done the textbook part of reading pronunciation as well. I had given you new words in the last session. As well, today also we are coming across a, a few new words where you come across these new words in this session. So, let me read out the new words for you people. Scum. A layer of dust or fourth on the surface of a liquid. This is scum is nothing but in Canada we call it as kesuru. After rain we have that muddy sticking part of the mud when you walk. So that is called as scum. Sort of crane, a large Indian crane. Have you all seen cranes with a long beak, with a thin, uh, it has a very thin leg. Yes, have you seen those cranes? Especially when you uh, find it near the ponds as well as in the fields. Their usual food is fish. So, this is Saurus crane as well penny. Suffered a mental and physical decline. Suffer is nothing but it is to get hard with it mentally and physically. You have some pain called as suffer. Can you? Intense sorrow especially caused by someone's death. Yes, when you have death at home, everyone will be crying. You will be put off a whole lot of pain uh, remembering the person. So that is called as sorrow. Try raising 
them. Ramu and I riding. Move on to the third page. On different buffaloes, but they were lazy creatures and would live one comfortable spot only to look for another or if they were in no mood for games. So here Ruskin Bond is telling that the buffaloes were very lazy creatures. They did not want to do the racing. But Ram and Ruskin Bond always ride it sitting, uh, sitting on the buffalo. They started raising. Sometimes these buffaloes were very lazy. They do not want to indulge with the race. So they sat and or else they used to go in another way in the pond. Would roll over their backs, taking us with them into the mud and green scum of the pond. So green scum, that uh, greeny layer, have you seen? In Kannada it is called as Pachi. Yes. The greeny layer is called, uh, the greeny layer. They used to just, uh, the buffaloes used to just immerse themselves in that scum of mud as well as this greeny layer of the pond. I would often emerge from the pond in the shade of green and khaki. Yes, the scum is called as, the scum is called as, uh, sorry, the scum color is khaki here, that is brown mud. Have you seen that khaki uh, uniform which uh, our uh, police wear? And in this color, the scum was. As well as, since this green patches were there on his body when he was coming out from the pond. Then slip into the house through the bathroom, bathing under the tap before getting into my clothes. So before wearing on my clothes, I used to just walk on like that, slowly enter into the bathroom, have a nice bath under a tap and then put on my clothes. That is what the skin bond is telling here. Ramu and I sat on our favorite buffalo and watched a pair of saurus scream, prancing and creeping around each other. Tall, stroke like bird with naked red head and long red legs. So he is explaining how the crane was looking. Yes, he says that. It, it was a saurus crane, as I said here, a large Indian crane which you usually find near the ponds as well as fields. So which had a tall and stroke like bird with naked red head and a long red legs. So it has a naked head of red in color as well as the legs of the saurus crane was red and very lean and tall it was. They are always very devoted companions and it is said that if a source is killed, its mate 